I really enjoy showing love to some of the smaller independent brands out there that are just doing it right. And Authenticity Perfumes LLC out of the Tidewater, Virginia area is doing just that. I've been able to try all of their offerings. I've got a couple of full bottles, one on the way in fact, and I look forward to collecting more in the near future. Not only are the creations very interesting, very unique, very high quality, but they also come in high oil concentrations which allow them to last a really, really long time. In some cases, up to 10 to 12 hours, which is phenomenal. The owner, Sonny, um, he's also the creator of the, the perfumes. Uh, seems like a really great guy. Um, I've kind of paid attention to his interactions on social media, the way that he responds to posts and accolades, and he just seems to really take everything in stride, is very appreciative. And something that I've also noticed about him, which is probably sounds kind of weird, is the guy's got manners. Uh, every time that I've talked to him, you know, he's, he's used yes sir, no sir, and while that kind of makes me feel a little old, I, I don't know what his age is in relation to mine, I still can't help but be impressed by that. I, I am an old fashioned type of guy. I feel like manners are very important. So to hear someone actually using them nowadays is, is such a rarity that um, I just, I, I find myself really impressed with it. However, today I wanted to focus on one of their brand new releases and that is Silver Lux. I blind bought this based purely on my experience with the brand up until that point. I felt confident that it would be a great fragrance. I was particularly attracted to the note of coconut that it has. In addition to coconut, it's got lemon, orange, mahogany, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. So yeah, I thought it would be a great fragrance. It sounded amazing. What I wasn't confident of though is whether I needed another coconut fragrance in my collection. I, I mean, I felt like I had all my bases covered where coconut was concerned. I collected quite a few over 2020. Um, coconut for me is, is one of those notes that just truly transports you. It, you know, it takes you to the beach, it takes you to lounging by a pool with a pina colada in your hand suntan oil, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I couldn't be 100% certain that this would have a relevant place in my collection. Would it be different enough? Would it stand apart from everything else that I had? Well, I ended up being quite surprised. I think in my head, I had already kind of jumped to certain conclusions about what Silver Lux would smell like. Um, just going by the notes, I would definitely have concluded that it was more of a, a casual spring summer scent, uh, one to kind of throw in your suitcase when you're heading to vacation. And yeah, I was pretty close about that. Um, this is a fragrance that I would take on vacation with me, but I think this one has the unique quality uh, or the unique ability to transcend uh, more occasions and settings than just that, than just, you know, vacation or uh, spring, summer um, seasons. And the reason I say that is uh, because it possesses a, a certain refinement to it. That's the only way that I can really describe it. And that, you know, where is that coming from? Um, I mean, you have your lighter citrus notes, the lemon and the orange, and of course you've got the coconut. I mean, is it coming from the woods, the mahogany, the sandalwood, or, or maybe it's the musk. I know in a lot of fragrances, white musk can, uh, can certainly add a more refined, classy flair to the composition. However, the website really doesn't specify what type of musk it is, but it definitely is. It's a very classy, very upscale, smelling scent. And although I'm not quite certain where that overall refinement is coming from, what I am truly confident in is the fact that Silver Lux has quickly risen to the top of my favorite coconut fragrances, not only because of the awesome smell, but also because of that extreme versatility. I don't really feel like that, me personally, that I have to reserve it for the warmer months. I, I, I think that I will probably wear this all year round. 
And I don't have to reserve it just for casual vacation type settings. I really feel like this one could cross over to more special uh, type events. Um, in fact, something that I thought about, you know, I, I really feel like that this would be a great fragrance to wear on your wedding day. Um, my wife and I joke about doing a wedding do-over all the time because, well, we were married in the mid-90s and we had a typical 90s wedding. So there's a lot that we would do over. I mean, we, we had a, a great wedding. I mean, it was, it was very nice, don't get me wrong, but there was a lot of things we would have done differently. I would not have worn a traditional black tux. Um, I would have worn just a regular you know, uh, custom suit, preferably seersucker, um, if my wife would have allowed it. And uh, the wedding would have definitely been on the beach. That's something that, um, that you know, we, we truly regret that we did not have an outdoor on the beach wedding. And, uh, you know, I could really see myself, if it had been around at the time, wearing Silver Lux that day. Um, I wore Calvin Klein Eternity, no offense, Eternity, I still love you, but um, I think I probably would have gone with this one. If this sounds like a fragrance that you would be interested in, head on over to the Authenticity website. I'm gonna have the address right here. So yeah, head on over there. Um, if you're not into blonde buying, they do have samples available so you can check out the entire collection before making your decision. And also if you would like some more recommendations for good coconut fragrances, check out that video that I mentioned earlier that I did a few months back where I listed some of my favorites, of which now Silver Lux would definitely have been a part of if I had had it at the time. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you soon.